Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to DIY Motorsport. I am Mike and this is going to be the sleeper build part two. Uh, the plan for this episode is get the front end all mocked up, get the wheels on it. Um, we'll start looking at the steering and uh, getting it mocked up and then I'd like to get started on getting the body mounted. Um, I kind of want to get the body mounted before we go ahead and keep going on the frame just so we kind of know what kind of space we're working with and uh, all that fun stuff. So uh, hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, let's get started. Okay guys, so I got started on the first front wheel. Um, kind of see what we got so far. It's uh, just tacked in to place right now. Um, and then we left, got a little gap. Let's see right here. And we're going to basically put something in from there to there. And we'll cut it all to fit just to stiffen all this up really good and then we've got a steering rack that we're going to end up mounting something kind of like that and that will be our steering so let's go ahead we'll get that other brace put in and uh, make sure we like it and and we'll go ahead and get started on the other side. All right, so we got the piece cut out. Show you kind of what the plan is. It'll come in on an angle and weld in right there. And then that top part, you can see that triangle, will end up just kind of cutting this off that way and then we'll, we'll plate it. Um, down here on the hangover, um, I'll just weld all that in and may or may not cap it from the bottom. I don't know that there's any need to. Uh, so yeah, let's get it uh, tacked into place, see how it looks, and work on cutting that off. Okay guys, so we got the front all tacked in. Like I said, we're gonna make that sit flush across here, and then we'll cap it. And then right here on the front, I'm gonna take and cut basically right around along that filler rod, and then we'll cap all that too. And then that's, that way this will be a nice smooth transition, and it'll look good. So, That's one side tacked together. Let's go ahead and uh, now we just got a mimic it on the other side.
right guys so we got both of the fronts tacked together um, obviously we're gonna go through and clean everything up a lot and then like I said we'll end up cutting this kind of flush this way and box it in um, and then we'll probably put a gusset right here uh, just to support all of this and then that'll box this in as well but both sides are symmetrical uh, wheels line up the same so yeah we're back it's a new day um, spent the better part of the morning cleaning up the garage it was getting a little bit congested uh, so today we're going to go ahead and finish up the front end uh, we're going to box everything in and uh, start mocking up the steering and then hopefully we'll get the body thrown on and start setting up our mounting points so we can work on that so stay tuned okay so i'm really happy with the way everything turned out here so we're going to go ahead and final weld everything and box it all in gusset this up uh, one thing we are going to need to do is we'll probably come from here to about here and uh, support this and then we're going to cut all this off because well that'll just never work so let's go ahead and uh, finish up the front real quick and then we'll support this and then we will go ahead there it is and start figuring out our steering rack mount and getting the tabs welded on and try to make the steering work. Okay, so we got the one side pretty well done. It's still got to be welded from the underside, but the top's all good. Uh, you can see we boxed in here. Um, came down, cut this angle off right here and boxed it in. And uh, rest assured that's already way stronger than it needs to be. So I'm going to go ahead and off camera do the other side. And uh, as soon as I get it done, we'll be back and we'll start in on the steering. Okay guys, so we got started on the other side. Um, my welder's running a little bit low on gas, so rather than finish all this up today, um, I want to get started on the steering so we can get it tacked in and uh, hopefully get the steering working. Um, the plan is we'll take just some angle iron and we'll cut two pieces and we'll brace them across here and then I've got these little cradles that the steering rack will sit in these are just the uh, inch and a quarter pipe uh, hole sawed through and then cut in half and then the steering rack will sit inside these cradles like that and then we will u-bolt them down to the pieces of angle iron so let's get ahead go ahead and get started uh, cutting up our angle iron get it tack welded in and start mounting our steering rack. okay so here's the plan we cut two pieces of angle iron you can see how we cut them they're gonna box right in here 
I got this one already measured and tacked into place. Um, so we're going to mount these two right here. We'll weld them in. And then I ended up making some standoffs that were a little bit taller just because of the way that the steering rack uh, fits. The other ones were too low. The boots were hitting on our support. So we got two of those. bring them in and center everything up and then weld them on and then our steering rack is going to sit in there and uh, we'll be able to adjust it and angle it however we need and then we got the u-bolts that uh, are going to go through and bolt in from the bottom and hold it all in place so we'll go ahead and center everything up uh, get these tack welded on and then go ahead and uh, drill for our U-bolts and mount it up. Alright guys, so we got the steering rack all roughed in, so now we need to work on putting the tabs coming off of here that will hook to our tie rods, and uh, the tie rods are way too long, so we'll probably cut them down, weld them together just to get an idea of what I need, and then I'll probably have some shorter ones made just so it'll be stronger than if I weld them together. So let's go ahead, we'll get our tabs welded on here. Uh, we'll get them all drilled out, get our tie rods cut down, uh, tack welded together just to rough it in and try it out. Okay guys, so my camera was dying so I let it charge a little bit while I went ahead and uh, cut these down and hooked them up. But steering's all in, everything's nice and tight, and now we're going to go ahead and throw the body on it.
All right, guys, so we got the body mounted. All the openings for the wheels look good. It's a little, little bit off center up front, but that's just because this part of the body's kind of leaning over. So when we go through and final mount everything, then we'll bring it over. Um, right now it's just mounted on the bottom and that's really not much of the mounting. We're going to build supports that come up right there, mount and tie all that in. We'll have stuff that comes back here, ties all this in, and the same up front. Um, probably going to do something comes out from here and then mounts on the fronts up there. And yeah, it's about about an inch and a quarter off the ground so very very low but everything clears good rolls nice and smooth so yeah not too bad right, guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video uh, make sure to stay tuned uh, for next week uh, I want to start working on the steering wheel getting the motor in and uh, then we can start on this frame a little bit more um, for those of you that were following the Banshee build, um, I know I keep saying that we're going to have a video of it riding, and honestly, I just, the motor just doesn't run right. Um, I always knew that the compression was a little bit low, but that little short kickstarter is pretty deceiving uh, when you're kicking it over. Um, so, I finally did a compression test, it's just shot. So, tomorrow I'm going to pull the top end off of it, we'll get a piston order for it, um, get the top end rebuilt and then we will get a video done with some good riding so just be patient with me I'll get it out there um, if you like today's video please hit that like button please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe thanks guys